Hi, I'm Kumar. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we will be making a chocolate bread, which is a perfect accompaniment for breakfast in the morning. The process is a little long, it takes about two days, but in the end it is worth it. I recommend using the best quality chocolate that you can find. We start the recipe with 100 grams of flour, 8 grams of yeast and 55 grams of water. We mix it together with a spatula and we keep it in, uh, at room temperature for about 2 hours till it is doubled in volume. And then we will do the rest of the recipe. It will be a stiff dough. If required, add a little water. So for next part of our recipe, we have 4 eggs, we mix in 70 grams of sugar, 50 grams of water and 10 grams of honey. Mix everything in the KitchenAid bowl or any other mixer or you can even mix by hand. First put the K-beater. Once this mix is well incorporated, we remove the K-beater and we put the dough cooker. And before that, we put in our flour, which is 400 grams of flour. Now mix till the dough is made. Now, once the dough starts coming together, we will add our pre ferment which has become doubled in size and we add this to the mix. It took about 1 hour for our pre ferment to become doubled in size at room temperature. As you can see, the sides of our bowl are clean and this is the time to check whether our dough has formed the glutenic window. If you stretch the dough, it should not tear. So this is where we are. So at this time, we will add our butter. It's already becoming quite stretchy and nice. This is the time to add 125 grams of soft butter like this and 8 grams of salt, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. We add the butter gradually. So now we have removed our dough from the bowl and this is how, how beautiful it looks. Now the secret trick to this is to add cold chocolate to the dough. So keep the chocolate in the refrigerator or freezer for 10-15 minutes and then fold in this. Uh, today I am using Felklin dark chocolate, 125 grams and you should fold it like this. Make sure chocolate is folded in completely and it's everywhere, scattered everywhere in the dough. Make a round ball like this and we put it in the bowl to, for 2 hours at room temperature. After it has risen uh, considerably after 2 hours, 
we will put it in the refrigerator overnight so our bread is uh, our dough has risen beautifully and now we are going to keep this in the refrigerator overnight uh, so now our dough is chilled we have rested it overnight and we take it out from this see how beautiful it is without handling it much we will divide it into 60 grams we will be making six small and one large you can use even a loaf tin any uh, kind of shape you like for this now we just roll it into balls without handling the dough too much just put it on a silk pad it is easier to work and we put it in the if it is getting too sticky just spray some oil and then work now we will keep this at room temperature for about 3 to 4 hours till it is fully come um, uh, fully risen mix one egg with two teaspoons of milk and brush over the top uh, if you like you can sprinkle some pearl sugar on top it's optional up to you now bake it for 80 for about 20 minutes till it is brown on top Our bread is now ready. Let's cut and see. <music> 